folks. Acid Roots here. It's time for part five of Super Metroid. So I took a couple days off. I had some stuff to take care of on another YouTube channel of mine, but we're back and we're gonna sail through this game a bit more. So, uh, so honestly, if you're looking for just like sheer progress in this episode, I would probably say that a lot of this is just kind of uh, nonsense, kind of shenanigans, just because I didn't. Honestly, the thing about it is, is you need missiles, and I don't have them, and then I wind up using them, so a lot of the stuff is just me trying to get missiles and farming and some of that stuff, but I know where I'm going, I just can't get through the doors because I need the missiles to do it, and the enemies are getting tougher, so. But we'll just rely on the commentary, and we'll at least get to see some of the stuff that is on the verge of, like, getting ready to happen, as it were. And, um, so, I mean, for the most part, I know what, what I'm doing. When I said earlier that this is a game about navigation, uh, <clears throat> I mean, especially once you get the maps and stuff, it becomes so much easier because you just have to go to the rooms that you haven't been to. But in some cases, it does expect you to have some degree of puzzle-solving skills. Not quite as much like that as Zelda, but it's, it's a clever little game. Yeah, but I need a super missile, so we cannot do that part yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can. So yeah, uh, make sure you have several types of missiles when you attempt these areas. It's kind of the thing, I mean, for complete newcomers, I just would say, I mean, it's good to... I mean, when you get those missile recharge stations, definitely wise to invest in them, so... There's a lot of, I mean, because you'll need at least five missiles to knock out the pink doors, and you only get five super missiles for a while, so. Always jump at the chance to get them. <sighs> trying to think of other things. Uh, I saw on the news today there's like this black woman. She had a somewhat viral video talking about using hydroxychloroquine for coronavirus. Uh, you know, and that's the thing, I saw it on, like, a conspiracy, uh, person's webpage or channel and stuff, and I, I, I mean, the problem with it is that you just don't know who to believe, I mean, the world news said today, the world news said today, and they had Dr. Fauci specifically say, like, uh, um, had him specifically say, there is no logical proof that hydroxychloroquine works. But that's just kind of the situation you have to look at it, of course, and just be able to say. I mean, I don't know, there's just so many narratives. It's like people are trying to make scams out of having coronavirus cures. I mean, honestly, if you think that the world news is biased, like some of these conspiracy theorists, then you really, there's just no correct direction, because you can't tell if, like, you know, these billionaires are just trying to control the narrative. I mean, there's just so much stuff. I mean, I, I do like to say I like the news, but I can't be certain when certain things control all the stations. So, that's kind of the thing. I mean, if there was at least, like, you know, kind of like Coke and Pepsi, you know, if you don't like Coke, what they're pushing, you can switch to Pepsi, but they all have the same beliefs, it doesn't really help anything, you know, which is kind of the only thing about it. But yeah, so I'm basically stuck right now, and uh, really just trying to figure out, like, the conditions behind what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to turn off the machine, meaning the Super Nintendo, and uh, <clears throat> kind of go back to where I was, because there's no way I can get out of this area unless I was, like, a pro at wall jumping, so... I did show myself I can at least wall kick like once, but there's no way I can do that that many times. I've seen people do it, and it's, that's re that really takes a skill set. If you want like a challenge for like video games, try and see how many wall kicks you can do, because if you want to get 100% in this game, you're going to have to need to be able to do it. And effectively, so... Wait till you get to the screw attack later. That's uh, that pisses me off. <laughs> I'll tell you that. If you remember the screw attack from like the Smash Brothers games, I mean, it's pretty 
it's uh, pretty cold in this game, but it's a pain in the ass to use from what I remember back in 2015, so. This is what I'm talking about, this is why I have to use missiles, and this is, the, the next part of this episode gets lost because I don't really have anything to do. So, I thought of just making this like a short episode, this ending it where I kind of turned off the machine for the day, but uh, we'll just keep going. pitiful amount of missiles at this stage. I have to keep getting these power-ups and shit, so you're going to be seeing this room a few times. Uh, it's really not worth it to waste super missiles on them, but there's no other, you can't, you only can use missiles to take them out, so. Didn't have a choice. Would have been stuck if I ran out of missiles, so I would have sucked penis. But, yeah, I was kind of annoyed at this game earlier. Not in this particular session, but the next one that shows up at like the 10 minute mark. I was getting pissed off. I mean, because you do have to backtrack, and that's kind of the thing. If you're not in the mood to do it, like if you want to go forward and then you realize you're in Norfair, but you need to be in Brinstar, or you need to be in like another place, Meridia, or one of those places, I mean, obviously that detracts time, but. I'm just going to have to get used to the idea of just clipping segments. I am going to have to do that rather than just filming the whole thing. I'm going to have to cut to the point we need to get to. Because otherwise this is going to be like a 35 episode project. But I'm already almost at the Croquemire, so... Well, that's probably going to be within like the next few episodes I'll get there. I need to get a certain tech name. And then after that... Uh, we should be on the verge of seeing them. And then we'll of course go to the second of the main four bosses. So yeah, <laughs> it's funny because you know some folks think this is like a speed run, and it might as well be. I mean, it's in a let's play format, but I, I kind of enjoy this game so much that I seem to know how to navigate with it, but. It's an enjoyable game, and easily, if you don't think it's like a 9 or a 10 out of 10, I mean, uh, there's very little reasons for, like, classic gamers or retro gamers to not think that. But, nah, this is, like, only the second time I've played this game in, like, 10 years, though, so that's kind of, like, hell. I, do, I mean, I should revisit it more. I might wind up maybe one day even doing like a second playthrough, but I'll probably never do a 100% playthrough. Not likely. There's no way I could get, you know, master the idea of doing like the wall kicks and stuff. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. I could probably do a 100% of Zelda, like a Link to the Past or something, but... And I don't know when I'm gonna do that game. I mean, I've thought about it, but... It's kind of unaware. But I need to, I mean, eventually I'm going to run out of Super Nintendo games. I'm simply trying to think of what machine I want to do. I'm thinking about playing through Pac-Man. I need to get my NES up and running. I mean, it broke back in 2018. I just haven't had the nerve to buy a whole new NES, and I don't know how to do Let's Plays on the NES Classic. So, I'm gonna have to get either like a top loader NES, or I'm gonna have to see if my old one works. It's kind of like hell, you know. So I would like to do Pac-Man and Pinball and some of those games. It would definitely beef up my channel with additional worthwhile content, but it's not a good thing. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, the NES is old as shit. I mean, that's the, you gotta realize that people who were teenagers when that shit came out are in their 50s now. So, I still like it. It's definitely a stellar machine. Alright, that concludes that part of the recording. The one for mid July. Loading. Yeah, we'll dive back in. This is today's footage. So. Today is when you saw this, so or not when you, when when it was uploaded, upload date. 
So I kind of like the depressing music that you hear right as you start the game from a save point. This feels like Samus is just in stasis. She's stuck on a planet. She has to wipe out an entire alien race. And she, when she has to sleep, she just sleeps standing up and just goes into stasis. <laughs> kind of crazy. It's what this coronavirus crap happens to be, you know. Just going into stasis and whatnot. It's like the whole damn thing there. You realize that you're going to sleep, and the only place you've been is to, like, the grocery store or just the drive through or something. Some infantile. I mean, there's definitely people who have to go out and about, but for those, this is like hell. The only place I go is just to work and to get food, and that's essentially it. I mean, a very, you know, meager kind of frame. But... I do like that depressed little jingle, though, at the save points. We are definitely going to heal Samus, because she needs it. And I need the missiles. But these stations are not everywhere, so that's kind of... In some cases, that's one of the main things you're going to have to backtrack for, is just to find those that, rather than have to farm. And sometimes it'll help you, but other times it won't. I almost wind up dying here pretty soon. I'm just gonna say fuck this crate thing. I'm sick of crate at this point. I had enough of them in the last episode. So space pirates can suck a cock too. <laughs> you know, I don't even care about them right now. So I don't know all these Metro. I don't know these guys' names. They're not space pirates. They're just like something. That's the thing about it. I mean, all these enemies are not actually called Metroids. They're, they have some... I mean, if I had, like, the the old player's guide that Nintendo did, it would tell me all their names, but I just don't know them. I don't care. They're just ugly aliens. I don't know, like, these little centipede or slug things either, so... Unfortunately, I think I used a super missile here, but I shouldn't have. Now I need them, so... Yeah, I mean, I'll always use a missile before a super missile, I gotta say, because you might have to backtrack. Still have all these yoo-hoos on the floor, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna drink them, just because... <laughs> I don't like the idea of having to uh, you know, injure myself. Uh, um, so I got some goodies. You know, I'm gonna have to go to Arby's again, I think. It's like the main thing I'm gonna feed it or some bad, but I wanna get back to the library. Like I said in my Blackthorn playthrough, I've been watching comedies and romantic comedies, and I'm just trying to kind of think of what other things I want to watch. I'm just running out of tactics. I'm trying to come up with, like, some stuff as far as, like, something clever to do for, like, you know, my vlog channel, and in some cases this channel, like, these mini skits, but I need more content to learn how to be funny. And this is the thing. I'm running out of ideas, and especially during a pandemic, so this is kind of... Yeah. These wrong comms, I think, will help. <laughs> and, uh... I did get, you know, if you're kind of, if you're fans of acidic roots, I did get like a bunch of content with Cobalt taken care of. So all that stuff I said, either in Blackthorn or in an early episode earlier episode of Super Metroid. I mean, we did a bunch of stuff. We got some stuff for a montage done, and then something for October's Eve, which if you don't know what the day of that is, that's September 30th. To me, that's like a miniature party. I mean, you should definitely celebrate October's Eve. Everyone loves to go out on Halloween, but October's Eve is just as creepy. It was for me last year. I definitely, I was just kind of like, hell. Alright folks, so it's about time to wind things down, so I mean, part six should be up not too much further away, so stay tuned for that and the rest of the playthrough.
Uh, subscribe for more fun. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful night.